Hi, this is Sanyojita. Welcome to my channel where you will find simple and efficient methods to make a variety of Indian foods, vegetarian and non-vegetarian. The paste I'm going to make for you today, tomato, spinach and beetroot, go a long way towards making many a dish simple and efficient. I find myself using them all the time in dishes like paneer butter masala, palak paneer, tandoori chicken, beetroot parathas, the list goes on. If you have these in your freezer, you can whip up many a dish in short order. Let's start with tomato paste. Tomato paste forms a convenient base for gravies like paneer butter masala, chicken tikka masala or navratan kurma. However, it can also serve as a mild souring agent as in this quick and easy shrimp curry. You can always substitute with store-bought paste or even pureed fresh tomatoes. But as you'll find out, making your own is not that difficult. The spinach paste. Having spinach paste on hand means you can make palak paneer, palak paratha or palak cutlets at the drop of a hat. Make a batch or two and store in your freezer. Sometimes I throw in garlic and green chilies to make things even easier when I'm using it. Beetroot paste. I primarily use beetroot paste to intensify the red color in many dishes. It is a perfect natural substitute for red food coloring. However, it can also be used to make beetroot parathas and cutlets. Keep some on hand in your freezer to enhance your tandoori chicken or paneer tikka.
Note that beetroot needs an acidic medium for its pink color to turn red. So make sure you add lemon juice or yogurt or vinegar when using the paste. In an alkaline medium such as a milk based gravy, the beetroot will turn purple. That's it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If so, hit the like button and share it with your friends. As always, feel free to post your feedback and requests in the comment section below. And please subscribe so I can give you more content like this. Until next time, happy cooking and thank you for watching.